What a day for this guy here. Finally, the great Ray and Ray, Ray, Ray <laughs> yeah, showed that's, up. That's right. Because he wasn't here yesterday. Well, P1 <laughs> for this guy right here. Top speed, 226.0 miles an hour today. Day three of Indy 500 practice. Congrats, my friend. I come back, and look what happens your P1. Honestly, it was more just to shut him up. That was the whole reason. <laughs> On my second lap today, I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in a really good one here just so I don't have to hear it from Daly tonight. But, uh, <laughs> no, it was obviously a great tow lap, just like every all the top speeds, all tow laps. But, you know, today guys did start to try some qualifying stuff, see what they could do. And so an interesting mix out there for sure. He has to get to a press conference, I know. But, Graham, is there much difference between the qualifying laps that you run and then the race simulation type runs? Because it looks like there's a big difference. I would say, you know, yeah, that, well, okay, so a qual lap, I'm, I'm going to say is, you know, the best guys are at a 223 without anybody in front of them. But then when those guys go to race running, they're probably at a 218. You know, 217, 218 leading the pack. Some guys might be a little bit quicker, some guys are slower. So, yes. And I think this year, too, I'm seeing, at least in our car, a big variation in qualifying setup versus race setup, okay. which is atypical, at least for me at this place. Graham, we had 35 cars on the track here today. It was a busy day of action, and we saw our first incident in the month of May involving J.R. Hillebrand. Talk about what it was like out there with all that traffic on the speed, on the track. Well, that's I, I was waiting for it to happen, and, uh, you know, I had a couple close ones there, too, and it's just tough, you know, when you get, like, he was towards the back of the line. Honestly, man, the cars are skating around. They're harder to drive than they ever were back there. And, uh, you know, obviously you can see the thing just built a lot of understeer and took off straight to the fence. And a lot of people don't understand how bad that feeling is. You have no control. It feels like ice. And I'm sure many of us at, in the winter here have turned into a neighborhood and all of a sudden the front just doesn't turn, doesn't turn, and bang, you hit a curb. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happens there. And there's no way to get it to come back. And, uh, you know, he just lost it. Let's take a look at the fast eight from today. Of course, our guy, Jay, excuse me, Graham Rahal, top speed today here at the Annapolis Motor Speedway as we take a look at the Fast 8. So tomorrow you got one day to gear up for qualifications coming up this weekend. What is your focus tomorrow? Because we know Mother Nature could play uh, a factor tomorrow. All getting clean laps. You know, it's all qualifying sims tomorrow. Turn up the boost. So tomorrow will be full power. And, uh, you know, we'll see how fast we can go. I expect somebody's going to do a 30 because they'll get a good tow. But I expect, what, 28s, 29s are going to be pretty solid. Yeah. All right. Go do your man. press conference. Great job. Good we'll job you today. Here. Um, happy for you. Happy for that guy right there, Graham Ray Hall, of course, our driver analyst for the month of May. Before we wrap things up here, Derek, um, we know the weather could be a factor tomorrow. What do you expect to see from these teams as they get ready for the final day before qualification? So tomorrow, everybody gets more boost, which is more horsepower, as Graham just mentioned. It could be four miles an hour. It might be five miles an hour. That suddenly, boom, puts the quick guys into 230. They need dry running to feel what the car is like at that speed. So if it begins to get, if it begins to rain, that's that's for Ray Hall. <laughs> He's yeah. doing a picture, <laughs> that's right. a photo op right now. Yeah. But, they, but they need dry weather to truly be able to use the boost that Chevrolet and Honda are going to give them tomorrow. All right, so there you have it there. So as we mentioned, it's going to be an exciting weekend coming up here.